This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Well, I was going to wait until Monday to cover Marjorie Taylor Greene's a hearing in the Administrative Court of Georgia, in Georgia, to determine whether or not she's, she's a, a, a credible, viable, qualified candidate to be placed on the ballot this midterm election. The lawsuit states that because she took part in, aided, or engaged in insurrection against the United States of America, she is disqualified because of Clause 3 of the 14th Amendment of the Constitution of the United States. Lawyers are making great cases. She took the stand. She is under direct cross-examination. Her lawyer's doing the best job he can to interrupt at every single moment. But we still have video clips. And I want to, I'm just going to play a few. I've got five or so here. Well, maybe we'll play three. We'll see what happens. But I wanted to get this out because it is consuming everything that's happening right now on the internet. It is, uh, it's a sight to behold. The lies that are being told by Marjorie Taylor Greene. She went into this hearing knowing we have video evidence of everything she has said, all of the tweets, even though she's suspended from Twitter now, that we have a record of everything she said, all the tweets that she's liked, her positions are very clear. She's been bold and aggressive, a patriot. Going on Steve Bannon's insurrection hour to talk about this all the time. So let's play some of these insane lies. Again, this goes back to conservatives who think so little of their followers. They think so little of the American people and their intellects that they just think, I could just lie, even though there's video evidence or audio evidence, and eh, everything will be fine. Catch this first clip where they directly ask her about what her opinion was about whether or not the election was stolen and whether the Congress should not certify the election to make, uh, to, to, to certify the election of Joe Biden as President of the United States. Get ready to be rocked by her answer. It should count. Is it fair to say, Representative Green, that from election night of 2020 until January 6, 2021, your personal opinion and your wish was that Congress not certify Joe Biden as the winner of the 2020 election? Uh, no, that's not accurate. <laughs> uh, you, you believe... That is not accurate, she says. Oh, that's not accurate. No, 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 no. Uh, I am pro-democracy. I'm not an anti-democratic clown. Watch this. Remember this. We'll put the words up over the words that she's saying. We aren't going to let this election be stolen by Joe Biden and the Democrats. President Trump won by a landslide. President Trump was reelected for four more years. Tomorrow is a very important day in America's history. We can't allow our integrity of our elections to be stolen. We must object to this vote. So let's get ready to fight for fight for America tomorrow. Uh, no, that's not accurate. Yeah, liar and not even good at it. There have been so many egregious things that she has declared. She has liked tweets about the, the quickest way to get rid of treasonous uh, Nancy Pelosi is a bullet to the head. Someone tweeted that. She liked it from her account. No one of any import, no one of any reasonable attitude uh, could, could, could say that that's not something that she has advocated for. Watch this moment in the courtroom. Um, so... It's true, though, that you liked a post that suggested that, quote, a bullet to the head of Nancy Pelosi would be a quicker way to remove her as Speaker of the House than impeachment, right? Now, you're using a CNN article, which has lot CNN has lied uh, about me multiple times, and you're using a CNN article. I'm asking you to president. answer my question. Did you like a post that said it's quicker, that a bullet to the head would be a quicker way to remove Nancy Pelosi from the role of speaker. I have had many people manage my social media account oh. over the years. I have no idea who liked that. Okay. You're, are you testifying under oath it wasn't you? just want to be clear on that. I am testifying. I have no idea who liked that comment. Fair enough. It could have been you. Right? I am telling She's you, I question. do not know. She's answered the Go ahead. Next, next question. Yeah. 
first she goes to the, oh, this is CNN. You can't, that's fake news, CNN. You can't rely on CNN. No, 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 no. It has nothing to do with CNN, sister. It has to do with, did you or did you not? Who liked that tweet? Earlier, she testified that everyone who accesses her social media accounts has had to have had permission. She knows when they do it. And here she is. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm confused. The lawyers did make an attempt to go back to, to statements that she made back in 2019. Back in 2019. And the lawyers even objected to that, that she was calling for violence. But they're like, oh, what, what are we going to do? Go back to high school? Watch, watch this. 2019, Marjorie Taylor Greene told protesters to flood the Capitol and feel free to use violence. Uh, get on there. I, I, I object. She, this is 2019. Uh, how many years back? High school? Uh, do we have to be treated with statements that like flood the Capitol? Flood the Capitol? Your Honor, this is a speaking are, objection. It's not appropriate. Uh, uh, go ahead. Uh, 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 uh. You may, you, if you can figure out how you can avoid the foundation of this, you may proceed forward, okay. Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Look, 2019, she was running for Congress to, to represent the, 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 the congressional district that she represents in Georgia. This wasn't high school. This isn't going back to a time when she was a minor. She was a grown woman with agency who knew what she was doing. The other thing is, for, for, I'm going to remind you of this particular clip. We're going to go to full screen on this because I don't have it here. Um, this, th this clip of her on Steve Bannon's show talking about what it says in the, in, in the, in the Declaration of Independence, that it calls for us to, to overthrow tyrants. And she has this working understand, I'm using air quotes here. I didn't throw them up. A working understanding of our founding documents and the attitudes of our founders. That the, the what is in the Declaration of Independence? She wants to act like she's got a stranglehold on it. January six was just a riot at the Capitol, and if you think about what our Declaration of Independence says, it says to overthrow tyrants. But when asked about the most basic literal elementary school understanding of that Declaration of Independence. She's like, I don't, I don't know what it, I don't have the history books in front of me. Watch this remarkable moment from Marjorie Taylor Greene. This, from your studies, the Declaration of uh, Independence refers to King George as a right? I'm, I'm, I'm sure it may say that somewhere in the history books. I don't have the history books in front of me, and I don't know which one you're referring to. But. Well, I'm referring to the Declaration of Independence. That's the one that says that King George was a tyrant, unfit to be a ruler of a free people. Are you quoting the Declaration? Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, you, you'll accept that from me, won't you? If you're quoting it. Okay. And Right. Expert. Expert in the matters of our founding experts of the matters of the attitudes of our founders, experts on the Declaration of Independence. She boldly proclaims on C. Bannon's show this and that related to it. And then when questioned under oath, uh, oh, I'm stumbly bumbly. And here, here is, this is really the, ah, the chef's kiss of this entire day up to this point. It's still going on right now. I've got a live feed right here. And that is, that she was asked about uh, a post about Nancy Pelosi being a traitor and whether or not she believed at the time or, or had posted that Nancy Pelosi was a traitor. And she's like, no, I didn't say that. And the lawyer says, all right, well, let's go to exhibit. And she's like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, actually, oh, <laughs> embarrassing. And Republicans, if you're out there watching this, how are you not embarrassed? This is one of the leaders of your party who is floundering and fumbling like a moron under oath. Watch this moment. That would be correct. In fact, you think that Speaker Pelosi is a traitor to the country, right? Looks at her lawyer for, for direction. Uh, you're, I'm not answering that question. It's speculation. It's <laughs> you, you've, you've said that, haven't you, Ms. Green, that she's a traitor to the country? No, I haven't said that. I have okay. not said that. Put up plaintiff's exhibit five, please. Oh, no. Oh, Wait. Hold what? On now. I believe 
by not upholding the uh, sec securing the border, that that violates her oath of office. Yeah. Fair enough. I'm, I'm not interested in her oath of office. I'm interested in that you said that she's a traitor to our country, right? I, I object, Your Honor. And then again, uh, the lawyer objects with nonsense to try to throw off the flow of the cross-examination. There are rules surrounding cross-examination that he's breaking over and over and over. The other, the, her attorney keeps addressing uh, the, the, the plaintiff's attorneys uh, directly, not through the judge. It, it's, it's gross. And then finally, we'll end with this, which is just a mashup of her not recalling. Someone who, who is so bold in her opinion, you'd think she'd be champing at the bit to get up there and say what she believes, to proudly proclaim in her patriot fashion what is going on. Instead, she gets up there, and I don't recall, and ooh, I don't remember, and hubba dubba da. Watch the series of oh, flighty memory moments from Marjorie Taylor Greene. I, I don't recall tweeting that, no. Okay. I don't remember. That's difficult oh, to answer. Okay. What? I just don't remember who tweeted what. I, I'm sorry, I, I don't know. Oh, it's escaping me. I don't recall saying all of this, but I don't remember who organized it. Okay. I don't know if I retweeted it. Well, if you look carefully, it says Marjorie Taylor Greene. There's an American flag and it says ret retweeted. As your I don't know if you don't, I retweeted it. You don't, you don't recall one way or the other. I don't recall. Mm -hmm. This paper has, I don't have this Twitter account anymore. Oh. So I don't recall, I don't remember retweeting this. History okay. doesn't exist but because your account got deleted. This says. Okay. I don't recall. January mm. 6th. I do not recall that. Don't though. recall. I do not recall ever talking about attending. Mm -hmm. For any of them? I do not remember. Mm, not any of them. Sad. I, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. Fake Triad. I do not remember. Liar. Where representative Ghosts are. Sorry, I don't remember. Oh. I don't remember. Sorry. I don't remember. Bye. Don't remember. Listen, this is cowardice, is what this is. You act like you're a bold patriot, standing for freedom, putting your life and, and, and blood and treasure on the line like our founding fathers did who signed the Declaration of Independence. And then when you get pulled before a court, you raise your right hand, you're swore. You're sworn in to tell the truth. Against penalty of perjury, then all of a sudden, the memory gets foggy. It's because you're a liar. You are a traitor to this country. You have committed treason by many... Many standards. You aided and took part in an insurrection against the United States of America, attempting to overthrow our government, a failed coup attempt. You were a, a lieutenant in the Trump coup. And here you are, a coward, too afraid to stand for what you believe. What am I going to say? Gross. What do you think? I would love to know. Please sound off. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention and your engagement with my content. If I bring you $1.99 worth of value every month, <laughs> please consider supporting my work here on the platform. You can click the join button below, become a channel member and help produce what I do here. Or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Both those are great ways to support what I do right here on YouTube. Follow me on social media. I'm going to be posting, uh, live tweeting the rest of this for a while. Uh, I'm at Dollamore everywhere. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I love you guys. I appreciate you. I'll see you next time. Be genuine. Don't be like Marjorie Taylor Greene. Be genuine. And take care of one another.